Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a while since my last one. It's probably two or three months ago since I posted, um, but it's been a yeah, it's been a very busy summer, a very lovely summer. Um, but I'm excited to say that this evening I'm out in the countryside looking for wildlife again. Um, I was actually out last night as well to see what I could find. Unfortunately, didn't see a lot until about half seven when it was starting to get dark, but had an amazing moment. Uh, with this roe deer and her two kids um, yeah really really special moment so i'm hoping we can find them again later on this evening i'm gonna head back to the same place but before that i'll see what else i can find for those of you interested i'm using the canon r6 mark ii with the 100 to 500 millimeter lens uh, it's the same combination i used in my last video and it was absolutely amazing so i'm really excited to be able to be using that again this evening um, yeah so let's see what we can find on this mid mid-September evening. Um, yeah, autumn is in the air, just around the corner. Uh, so yeah, the weather's not perfect, but uh, doesn't matter. The, uh, the animals are still going to be out and about, so hopefully we'll find some. Okay, well, I can't believe what just happened. Literally a few minutes after I came out, um, I saw a fox a little bit in the distance. Um, but the sun was right behind it and it was right in my eyes so I couldn't really see very well. But I quickly sort of lay down in the grass and then I lost the fox. I couldn't see it anymore. I was trying to search through my camera and, and the next thing I realised it's about five metres away just staring at me. Um, I don't know if it could see me properly. I, I don't know what it was because I've never seen a fox like that in the countryside. Um, you see them all the time in London and often they're quite curious but it's a completely different thing seeing them out, out where I am right now. I mean, I probably haven't seen one for two years, uh, at least not close enough to get any pictures. So that was incredibly special. There was a lot of grass in the way and, and I don't know I don't know what the pictures look like. They're probably not amazing. I'll, um, yeah, I'll share them in a moment. Um, and yeah, I then tried to switch to video, but it was too close and I decided I, I didn't want to scare it off. But eventually headed off in the other direction. Um, yeah, what a start to the evening. I'm so pleased that we've seen that. Uh, yeah, hopefully a sign of things to come. There's some deer now as well in the distance. Um, I think they're quite far away, but I think it's fallow deer, which um, this area is quite good for. I'm usually somewhere else where you just see road deer. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice if I can get a bit closer. Uh, I'm not sure if they're heading this way or not, but I'll see if I can get some footage for you and then maybe some pictures as well. It looks as though there's a whole herd of them all just lying down. Yeah, and there's at least 10, maybe 20. I've just got to try and like army crawl about five more meters so that I can over all of this stuff on my right there's like a little a bit of a mound and they're just below there so yeah i'm gonna do that and then uh, hopefully i'll get some good footage for you That was really cool to see so many fallow deer. Um, you often see them in bigger groups than you would roe deer who are usually sort of in groups of one, two or three. Um, sometimes a few more in winter, but yeah, fallow deer tend to hang out in herds more. Um, so yeah, it was so cool to see them. Unfortunately, they did spot me in the end. I always try and, you know, remain hidden and put the wildlife first. Um, but when there's 20 of them, chances are one of them's gonna spot you. And as soon as that happens, they all do. Um, so yeah, my cover was blown, but still a really beautiful moment um, so yeah it's been a pretty good evening so far um, yeah can't wait to see what else we can find just as i was walking back uh, towards the area i'm usually in after those fallow deer headed off i saw them again 
in the distance, they're just sort of hanging out in the same field, but down the other end. And yeah, it was nice to see them still there. And I also managed to get some nice pictures of them sort of as a whole group, um, which was cool. Not the kind of photos that I would usually get. Usually they're a bit more close up. Um, but it was cool to get the, the whole herd in and uh, some nice trees in the background and some nice lighting as well. So yeah, check these out. It's time now to head over to where I saw the roe deer yesterday and try and find them again and hopefully photograph them in better light than yesterday. Uh, because yeah, it was, uh, it was a beautiful moment. I did get some nice pictures but slightly noisy um, and yeah this evening it's beautiful so if I can get them in this golden light then that would be perfect. Uh, as always I'll keep my eye out for anything else on the way there and um, yeah I'm just kind of hoping to see a barn owl but it's wishful thinking I think. I saw them in this area a couple of times this summer and to be fair this evening is a great chance to see them because it's been raining for the last couple of days they don't really like to hunt in the rain. Um, so yeah, it means that they're probably more likely to be out and about hunting uh, now that the weather's a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, like I said, I won't hold my breath for that. But fingers crossed we will see that roe deer and her kids again. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark now. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see a barn owl and I didn't see that roe deer with her kids again. However, I did see another small group of fallow deer. And really interestingly, there were a couple of muntjac with them as well and in the same field, a couple of roe deer. So to have three different species of deer in one field at the same time was pretty cool to see. Um, and I will leave you with some footage of all of that, as well as a few nice pictures of the roe deer that I got at the end. Really nice and moody. It was about half seven, so the sun's gone down. Um, so yeah, pretty dark, but like I said, I think I managed to get some nice moody images. And it's been great to be out again. I've had a lovely evening. I hope you've enjoyed the video as well. And uh, yeah, if you did, then please do consider subscribing and hopefully I will see you at the next one.